Well, how is everybody doing? Welcome to Recovery Church. This live edition on this September the 27th, and I am exceedingly excited. And I uh, just want to say that Friday night at Hope for Women and last night at Teen Challenge, Ladies Center Adult and Teen Challenge was so awesome. God moved so powerfully. There were two barn burners, folks getting blessed, getting discipled, giving out one thing, t-shirts to the graduates, and it was just incredible time. Sherry brought the word last night, and it was really powerful. So anyway, the I'm going to go ahead and tell you this, and I mentioned it last week. You know, when I've been started, I've been doing these recovery churches on Monday nights now for almost a year, you know, just planning, planning, you know, uh, uh, sowing, sowing, digging, uh, you know, with the with the thought that one day these would go live. And so next Sunday night, well, this Sunday night, actually, October 3rd, uh, with the help of Kristen from Hope for Women and the 319 Warehouse folks, Robert and Wayne, we're going to have a Sunday night service called Recovery Church. It's for all those who've gone through Teen Challenge, Hope for Women. Everybody can come. You know, all these messages are for everybody, really. And it's going to be at 6 o'clock uh, in part of the restaurant Annex 319 Warehouse. It's a beautiful little area. Now, if we got more coming, we'll go into the restaurant area. But we're going to do it there the first Sunday in October, which is next Sunday night the first Sunday in November, and the first Sunday in December. And of course, we'll eventually have one at my church, which I've done mission concerts, and both groups and others have come, so it's similar. But this is Recovery Church, and we're just going to see where the Lord is going to take this. Amen. It may just end up being a monthly thing that we, we just do it in Jasper and then the in Warrior or whatever to get different. That all the folks can come to network. The purpose is so so folks can network, they can connect, and uh, they can be discipled. Uh, of course, I'll do some of my music. Uh, you know, we'll go into worship. You know, at times we may have different speakers. You know, but it's going to be to the niche. Uh, because, you know, so many struggle, they go through the programs, and it's all Jesus, it's all prayer and all that, then they get out into the real world, they go, uh-oh, some struggle, and then get on the right track, and they're doing great, some just do great off the bat, but so many, uh, and as you know, I've discussed with others, you know, you see struggling, so this is to for the purpose of uh, discipleship, connection, uh, you know, accountability, uh, a place where you can come and do church the way we do church. Amen. It'll be Brother D style up in the house. So I want to talk to you, invite you to come this Sunday night at the 319 Annex Warehouse Restaurant. We'll be in one section that's really, really nice. And uh, it's going to be cool. So tonight's message, hey, Chris, is going to be entitled, and I ministered this Friday night, Forgiven, Pardoned, and Cheered. Everybody say that with me. Forgiven, I'm forgiven, I'm pardoned, and I'm cheered. I want you to know that the Holy Spirit affirms you, and and, and they the, the, the host of heaven are cheering for you. Hallelujah, in the grandstand of heaven, they are cheering. They're saying, go, 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 go. And I want you to know that daddy is proud of you. Can I get an amen? So in Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, it says, Therefore, since we've so great a cloud of witnesses, whoa, uh, uh, surrounding us, let us also lay aside every weight or every encumbrance and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Hallelujah. Doing what? Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher or the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him 
endured the cross, watch this now, despising the shame and sat down and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. So right off the bat, hallelujah, I want you to know that in Isaiah 53, 5, that he, he died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, for the healing of our bodies. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequities our, or our patterns of sin. The chastisement that brings us peace was upon him, and by his wounds and stripes, we were healed and are healed. Can I get an amen? So the first thing I want you to know tonight is that you are no longer guilty. You are no longer guilty. Listen to Romans 5, 1. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Romans 5, 1 says, Therefore, because Jesus came, died, rose again, your faith is in him, right? I'm telling you, there's no guilt. Therefore, having been justified by faith, Romans 5, 1, we have peace with God. We have shalom with God. Remember, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. So we have peace with God, okay? And we have the peace of God. Say, I have peace with God, and I have the peace of God. Hallelujah. With God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom, watch this also, we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand and we exult in the hope of the glory of God. So we have therefore, and there's a lot of therefores tonight, therefore we have been justified. In other words, we have been forgiven. We have been pardoned. We are now not guilty. Can I get an amen? My friends, if you have your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, he died on the cross, shed his blood for the forgiveness of your sin, and he was raised up. Say he was raised up for my justification. How he was raised up and said, okay, I'm acquitted. He was raised up and said, freely pardon. He was raised up and said, you are now justified. Say, I'm, I'm, I'm not guilty. Amen. So he was delivered over to death for our sins and raised to life for our acquittal, our free pardon. We are not guilty. Not guilty. Dismissed. You may go. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Number two, there is no condemnation. So not only am I not guilty, but I'm not condemned. The Lord didn't come to condemn the world, John 3, 17, but that through him, the world might be saved. Jesus is not condemning you. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit does not condemn you. The Holy Spirit convicts you. I mean, I know when I do wrong, think a wrong thought, not do what he tells me to do, or maybe step outside the line. I'm, I'm convicted, but I'm not condemned. Say I'm, I'm convicted by the Holy Spirit, but I'm not condemned. The devil condemns. You shouldn't have done that. Look what you did. Boy, you made a mistake there. You should have gave that money. You should have done this. You should have done that. And he weighs us down and weighs you down with condemnation. But hallelujah, Romans 8, 1 says that therefore, say therefore. So let's go back, not, guilt, not guilty, in Romans 5, 1. Therefore, having been justified, and now Romans 8 would, therefore there is now, say now, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Can I get an amen? And in both Romans 5 and 8, it talks about being in a state of grace. I love what the Amplified Bible says. We're in the state. Oh, my friends, I'm in, we're in the state of Alabama 
or you may be watching from Costa Rica or one of my friends in Cuba. You may be watching in Mississippi. Hallelujah. Or new, you'll watch this video in New York, you know. But hallelujah, I want you to know you may be in that state physically, but you're in the state of grace spiritually. And if I say and, you were not guilty. Can I get amen? And there is no condemnation for you. Hallelujah. You know, 1 Corinthians, first, uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 11 uh, talked about, you know, they used to, Paul was telling them, you know, you used to be this, you used to be that, you used to be an adulterer, you used to be a fornicator, you used to be a gambler, you used to be a swindler, you used to be an addict, you used to be a prostitute, you used to be all these things. He said, and such as some of you were, Say I were, <laughs> but you've been washed, you've been sanctified, you've been now justified, sanctified, set apart to God, justified, freely pardoned, in the name of Jesus, by the name and in the by the Spirit of our God. So, my friends, you're not guilty, you're not condemned. Can I get an amen? And number three, you have no shame. You have no shame. Shame will cause you to hang your head. Shame will weigh you down. Shame, hello, when Adam and Eve sinned, they had shame and they tried to cover themselves with the leaves. Hallelujah. But the Lord killed the animals and put the skins on them with the blood. I'm telling you, the blood of Jesus delivers from shame. That's why Isaiah said in 50 verse 7, he said, I will not be shamed. I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I've set my face like flint, and I know I'm going to triumph. Hallelujah. There's no shame in God's game. Can I get an amen? And there should be no shame in your game. You've been washed. You've been justified. You've been sanctified in the name of Jesus. My friends, you ought to be shouting right now. You ought to be running the out. You ought to be running outside shouting. I know <laughs> the other day during the ball game, I'm sitting here and something happened and I ran out of the back porch shouting. You know, it wasn't a good shout either. But we ought to be shouting, hallelujah, because we're not guilty. We're acquitted, freely pardoned. We're not condemned. And Jesus took our shame on the cross. Can I get a hallelujah? I love what Isaiah 61 says, that we'll get double a twofold recompense and we won't have or suffer any shame. Hallelujah. Because Jesus took the shame and the blood cleanses and the blood cleanses. Number four, there's no more curse. So not only am I not guilty, not only, hallelujah, am, am I not condemned, not only, number three, do I not have shame, but number four, say number four, I'm not cursed. Why is that? Because Jesus took not only my sin, not only my condemnation, not only my shame, but he took my curse. Listen to Galatians 3, 13 and 14. It says that Christ redeemed or he purchased you know, you were bought at a price. Can I get an amen? He redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who's hung on a tree. Watch this now. In order that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come upon us. Can I get an amen? Uh, so that we, and that we might receive the promise of the Spirit, who is the blessing, my man and my dear sister. Hallelujah. So it's uh, Jesus took the curse. I'm not cursed. I'm blessed. You're not cursed. You're blessed. The devil can't curse you. The witches can't curse you. The warlocks can't curse you. The devil can't curse you. Hallelujah, you are blessed. Say, I'm blessed. 
Say, I'm highly favored. Jesus took the curse of sin, took the curse of sickness, took the curse of disease, took the curse of addiction, took the curse of oppression, took the curse of depression. My gosh, he took the curse. Shout, he took the curse. Hallelujah. And he brought the blessing of Abraham to our life. And it's through us, say it's through me, that all the nations of the earth will be blessed. My friends, you got a Genesis 12, 3 covenant. Hallelujah. As the Lord says, I'm going to bless you. Hallelujah. And those who curse you will be cursed. My, don't you mess with a, a, somebody that's got the blessing of Abraham, baby. Because if you do, the curse is going to fall on you. Hallelujah. See, they're trying to curse Israel, but they're, it's going to boomerang back on their heads. You better be praying for Israel. Hallelujah. Bless Israel. For those who bless her will be blessed. Those who curse her will be cursed with a curse. My friends, those who bless you will be blessed. My good, the folks that have blessed me and partner with me, the blessing, amen, I just speak a hundredfold blessing on you. Right now, you're blessed coming in. You're blessed going out. You're kept in safety wherever you go. You're redeemed from the hand of the enemy. My gosh, you're more than a conqueror. Shout, I'm more than a conqueror. Through him who loves me. So I don't have guilt. I don't have condemnation. I don't have shame. I don't have a curse. Why is that? Because I am a new creation. Shout out, I'm a new creation. My friend, all those old things have gone. They're gone. And all the new things through Christ Jesus have come. Hallelujah. My friend, you're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, the they're all we're all surrounded by them. They're going, go. You can make it. You can be, be victorious. Throw off that guilt. Throw off that shame. Throw off that condemnation. Throw off that curse. Hallelujah. The devil's a lie. Shout the devil's a lie. Hallelujah. We're blessed coming in. We're blessed going out. We're new creations in Christ. All our needs shall be met. By his stripes we're healed. Hallelujah. We got the joy of the Lord, the peace that passes understanding. The angels are encamped about us. My goodness, I could run right now. Hallelujah. Because those God has blessed are blessed. Shout, I'm blessed. And I'm surrounded. You are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. My friends, you've been washed. You've been justified. You've been sanctified by the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of our God and all of his promises are yes and amen. My friends, not one promise failed to the house of Israel. Everyone, shout every one of them, was fulfilled. And we have a better covenant. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Well, my friends, I'm out. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Keep focused on Jesus. Keep glorifying him. Uh, spread the word. Spread this video. Uh, amen. This Sunday night at 6 at the 319 Warehouse Restaurant Annex. We're going to throw down in the Lord. We're taking the show on the road. It's going to be awesome. Recovery Church where we're learning uh, to recover all. Can I get an amen? God bless you. If you want to read my books, listen to the music, go to daningram.org. It's there for you. If you want to order the music, it's on iTunes, Spotify, the whole Amazon, the whole nine yards. Anyway, pray for me. If you need prayer, instant message me, text me. I know more and more and more are. Hallelujah. I've been aiming for this niche. 
boom, 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 boom. Sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing. Now it's time, say it's time, for Recovery Church Live. And it's going to be awesome. We're going to show up. That's me and the Lord's deal. I show up and he shows out. Come get in the river of God at Recovery Church this Sunday night at 6 p.m. at 319 Restaurant Warehouse in Jasper. It's a beautiful area. Come be a part. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, nothing's missing and nothing's broken. God bless you.